it's the pen type. It's absolutely amazing. Happy summer everyone! For those of you in Australia, yes it is not summer, it is the complete opposite right now but for me in Japan and for people in America I guess it is right in the middle of the summer so I thought this would be kind of a good video to do right now. There's a couple things that I have learnt and it is that summer in Japan is gross. It gets way hotter in Australia. It gets to like 40, even up to like 45 degrees and stuff. In Japan it hasn't got that hot. I think the hottest that I've experienced is like 35 or 36, but it is super, super humid. The summer here is a little bit different, so I thought I would introduce you guys to a few items that I found in Japan that are kind of a necessity for me now to live every day in this heat, this Number one, of course, is UV protectant. I have talked about Japanese sunscreen in videos before. I will introduce you to the one I'm currently using, and it is the Biore UV Aqua Rich Watery Essence, which I have used many times before. Probably one of the first sunscreens I use, and I love it because it is, as it says, super watery. It feels really nice on the skin. It gives like a little bit of a cool feeling and it absorbs super easily. It's super watery. So the thing I like about it is that it has this kind of fresh citrusy smell. I, first of all, don't like the smell of sunscreen. I don't even know how to explain that smell, but that smell of sunscreen, I really don't like it. So I like the fact that it is kind of this fresh citrus smell. This is the one that I've been currently using and it's in my bag, but I have bought a backup. It says it's strong on sweat, it stays on your skin, it feels like water, it's super waterproof you can wash it off with water you can use it on your face and body and all that and it is SPF 50 plus PA plus 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 so it is definitely a high protectant while it's still being watery and super lightweight I can't feel it on my skin already if you have not tried Japanese sunscreen as I have said in other videos definitely give it a go if you are someone who does not like the feeling or the smell of sunscreen because they are awesome and I pretty much can't use anything other than Japanese sunscreens now because they just are so much better. Second thing is, again, another sunscreen, but it is a spray type, which I have been loving this trip because I haven't ever actually used them before. Like in Australia, they have spray types as well, but they're still the same sunscreen. It's super greasy, super heavy, super smelly. Um, it's super shiny. Like, it's not that, what's the word? practical in a way especially when you wear makeup because when you put on sunscreen or something makeup it's going to take it all off make it more greasy ruin it just not a good thing to put sunscreen on top of makeup except when you have a spray one like this i keep it in my work bag at work and i use it for touch-ups at work because obviously at work i can't take my makeup all off put on sunscreen and then put on my makeup again so this stuff comes in super super handy i can open it I've actually gone through two spray bottles already this summer, but this is the Biore UV spray. This one is also SPF 50 plus. On the package it does say it is wet and waterproof. You can use it on your face and your body and you can wash it off with soap. It also says it is invisible or like it doesn't have a color to it so you can put it on top of makeup. It says that specifically and you can also use it on your head. Where your um, part is you can get sunburn very easily so you can use this on top of your hair as well. I might actually give it a go right now on top of my makeup. I mean I'm kind of glowy right now so it might be hard to tell that this is not greasy but anyways. Voila! And it feels super light, like already it's dry. It does say it's very fast drying. It feels fine on my skin. It doesn't feel gross. It doesn't feel like it's melting my makeup or anything. I think it's such a good idea, so handy. Yes, spray sunscreens do exist everywhere, except they are not made this lightweight and this formula that you can put on top of your makeup without it ruining your makeup. This Bureau one is the first time I'm trying it. Um, another one that I have been using, Sun Cut one, which is a cute little Mickey Mouse packaging. I've used two of these. I've used this Mickey one and I also had an Ariel one, which I've used up. These ones are still really good. That was the first time I used the Bureau one, so I can't really do a comparison. But maybe when I do or have been using the Bureau one for a little while, I might do a comparison of the spray sunscreens because honestly, they are like the best thing ever. Another thing that I have been loving is 
is body wipes. They are generally to just like wipe away stickiness and sweat and like smell and stuff that I get especially when I'm going to and from work or at work because I work outside and obviously I like walk outside to get to work. I can get very sweaty very quickly. I sweat a lot. I think I am a person that sweats a lot. To deal with that I have definitely been using these body wipes and they work amazingly. A lot of the ones in Japan are powder infused so when you wipe down your body it leaves your skin feeling very smooth and like not sticky. The current one that I am using is the Seabreeze one. Seabreeze is really popular over here in Japan. They started off with a different product which I'll introduce next because that's my last product. It is a very famous brand that kind of makes kind of summer items for sweat I guess like in general yeah for sweat which is something like you know it's kind of and eh, to talk about because it's kind of gross but like everyone sweats like whether it's a little or a lot and especially in summer like you want to be hygienic and be clean and like smelling good but sometimes it's hard so these products make it a lot easier this is the sea breeze body sheet splash marine so it just comes you know normal wipey wipe and the wipes are a good size honestly like that's a decent size and I can like use one for pretty much my whole body. I will mainly just use it around my neck, under my arms, and then under my butt. <laughs> it says they are 20 centimeters by 25, so that's how big they are. So they are pretty big, and it contains 30 in here. Just grab it and just wipe. I usually do this when like I get to work and before I change into my uniform I'll just wipe down my body. And the good thing about this is it does have that kind of cooling formula to it. So when you first wipe it down, yeah, feeling fresh, feeling good, and then in about 30 seconds maybe or a minute it gives off that cooling feeling. So literally your skin starts to feel cool. Like, you know when you chew like really minty gum and then you drink cold water and it's like super cooling? <laughs> It's like that. And that doesn't last forever, obviously. It only lasts for like maybe five or ten minutes, but it's definitely nice and refreshing after you've been just walking outside in the sun sweating and I love it. Like I use it before work, usually sometimes after work. It might seem expensive, I don't know, it's like five bucks for 30, so I think it's totally worth it. Oh, I'm starting to feel that cooling feeling. But that's the current one that I have been using. And then I bought another pack, which it's Gatsby, which I don't know if it's for men. Because Gatsby is usually a men's brand. So I don't know, but I'm like, does not matter? No, because it smells like peaches. Like, who doesn't want to smell like peaches? But I keep this in my bag and it is super, super handy. Whether or not you, I use it every day, which mostly I do anyways, but it's good to have on ya. Last thing is, as I was saying before, Seabreeze is very famous for a particular product that they put out and it is their water, I guess, kind of liquid that includes powder in it. So when you put it on, it leaves your skin feeling really smooth and not sticky and my body's starting to feel really cool from that wipe. <sighs> it says natural plus aid for the body, Dio and water. And this one is the frozen mint and it is a ice type, which again is that formula that gives that mentholy minty cooling feeling to your body. So I do have a bottle at work which is actually in a spray bottle which I find is a lot easier to use. I just shake it up and then spray it all over my body. If I'm not feeling super sweaty and gross I won't use a wipe and I'll just spray this on my body. It's not like deodorant, like I don't use it under my arms. It doesn't work like deodorant. This is to shake and then it literally just, just put it on your hand and just pat it. Ooh, ooh that was nice. Oh, it smells nice too. I feel like every girl in Japan owns like a bottle of sea breeze, but it's in the bag or their locker or whatever. And you just brush yourself a little bit before you head off. So you're smelling good and feeling fresh. I've never had anything like this before until I came to Japan, but I noticed they sell it everywhere and I thought I'd give it a try and I absolutely love it. So I guess they are the products that have been helping me survive through summer because I am not a summer person, but I've been using these products to help me kind of stay fresh and without tanning a lot, which I don't think I'm doing too bad. My face is a little bit tan, but for working outside every single day I think I'm doing okay which I know people love to tan which is totally fine but for me it's more about I don't want skin damage and stuff when I'm older so I like to wear sunscreen and these products make it a lot easier to do that anyway I hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did please give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys next time bye